Hey, what's up everybody? This is Muth24, and I'm going to be doing something that people have been asking me to do for quite a while now. And I meant to do it actually when I hit my 200 subscriber mark, but I just got busy at the time, and I figured I didn't really want to wait until 300 subscribers to do this. So I'm going to do it here since it's 250 now. Uh, I'm going to do a collection video, or just show off my collection of all my model kits. I'll do one probably for my anime stuff later on, um, but I figured I'd just do this for now to keep it simple. So here's my AVA collection to start things off. We have the AVA Unit 1, 2, and AVA Unit 0, and I've also got an AVA Unit 5 over here. I have not reviewed him yet. I want to at some point. The only thing is I keep kind of getting crappy weather, or I just don't have time on certain weekends, or I end up just forgetting. There's one thing I need to paint. It's right along his collarbone there, and I need to get the uh, pink on there. But pretty much, aside from that, he's all set. So uh, whenever I get that done, I will go ahead and review him. And then here is the bulk of my model kit collection, my Gundam kits. I'm going to start off with the high grades here on the bottom shelves and work my way up towards the master grades. So, starting off, we have the high grade Zeta Gundam, the high grade GPO 1 Fulvernian on the stand back there, and then the old 1 to 144 scale no grade Victory 2 Gundam. Uh, behind that is a kit that I painted up for Gundam Guns Zeke Zeon Contest, it's the Zuda. And then next to him, we have the old 1 to 144 scale. Uh, eighth MS team line, uh, the Goof Custom, and I refuse to call it a Goof because I think the pronunciation sounds silly, even if it is correct. Over here we have the 1144 scale uh, high grade After War Gundam X with the satellite cannon deployed, and then we have one of the entries that I considered doing for uh, uh, Too Old for Toys Robots of All Nations contest. It is the Epion Shot and Krieg, as I've dubbed it. Uh, basically, it's just a 1144 scale no grade. Epion from the old kits that I painted up, and if you guys want to see a review of that at some point, I'd be happy to do that. Just let me know. Over here is the entry that I actually used, which was the 1144 scale Avalon X, as I've called it. Uh, again, just an older kit, the 1144 scale Gundam X, no grade, painted up like the uh, British flag there. And then in the back, I've got the old 1144 scale no grade Gundam, uh, Turn A Gundam and Turn X. Up on the next shelf is all Endless Walt stuff, so we have the High Grade Tall Geese 3. Up in front we have the Sand Rock Custom and the Heavy Arms Custom. In the center we have the Wing Zero Custom. We have the Death Scythe Hell Custom, and then behind him is the Nataku. Next shelf up is kind of a combination of a bunch of different series. And I'm going to start off here with the Seed Kits. We have the Dual Assault Shroud, the Blitz, the Ale Strike, the Aegis, which was the first Gundam kit that I ever bought. Uh, well, technically not the first, but the first high grade. And the first kit that I bought for myself. I have a couple of old SD kits that were bought for me years ago. But first one that really got me into the habit of uh, doing these model kits. Then we have the Buster. Behind him is the Stargazer. And then we have the Strike Noir. Uh... Back there is the Double Ariser designer color. And then I have the four main suits from the first season of Double O being the Exia, Kyrios, Dynamis, and Virtue. The next shelf up, I'm going to adjust this guy because I've put him back on there facing away that I didn't really want him to. The first Master Grade that I ever bought is the RX-79 Ground Type Gundam. Behind him is one of the more recent ones that I've done, which is the... Uh, Unicorn. This is the re-release for the anime version, not the uh, uh, Verka. Another relatively recent one, there's the F-91 on his uh, Rafflesia action base. On the Lightning base, I have probably my favorite kit that I've built so far out of all the high grades and master grades is the Crossbone Gundam full cloth version. And I don't have the full cloth on him. It's kind of in the box right now because I feel I can do more dynamic poses with him uh, not wearing that. Behind him is the Master Grade New Gundam, which I painted up in the sort of weather design, and I also did that for the RX-79. And then there is the Master Grade Zeta Gundam 2.0 HD color version. Then we have the Turn A Gundam Master Grade. It's a really great Master Grade, actually. I, I'm surprised that so many people kind of overlook that one compared to some of the other ones. There's the Shining Gundam, a little bit older, but still very poseable. I've had him in this stance basically ever since I did the review. Um, and you can get him to stand on one leg, no problem, if you really want to. 
behind them as sort of the centerpiece, Wing Zero Custom. The most recent kit that I just reviewed, Master Grade Force Impulse. And the Master Grade Ale Strike Gundam, which is my single favorite lead Gundam design from any of the series. Uh, there's a lot of other ones I really like, but this one just, I like the combination of the stylized and the realistic to it. So that's pretty much it for my Gundam collection here. I'm uh, probably going to do a collection video for my anime stuff at some point, but uh, thanks a bunch, guys, for you know sticking with me and giving me some really helpful feedback on all these videos that I've done over the years. Uh, it really means a lot to me that you guys actually you know, care about my videos and enjoy them, um, and have given me so much uh, information, like, as far as the feedback is concerned, when I've asked, do you want these to be two longer parts, two, or a bunch of shorter parts, you know, do you mind if I go branch out and do some other stuff, like some of the uh, action figures that I may go back and do some more of, I'm not sure, but um, if there's any other ones that you saw in this video, like some of the uh, Endless Waltz kits that I have not done reviews of yet, and some of the old UC ones, and the customs that I've not done reviews of yet. If you want to see reviews of those, let me know in the comments section, and I'll try and uh, get around to those sometime in the near future. But that's pretty much it for this video, and I will see you guys next time.